Do you miss the Descendants? I bet you do. Welcome to Riveted, and in this video, we've compiled some of the deleted scenes from Descendants 3. Watch until the end to find out what Kenny Ortega had to say at the end of the movie. Jay, Carlos, and the Twins. The scene starts with Carlos, the Twins, and the talking dog, Dude. Well, we would have also loved more dude scenes, but we can live with what we got. Then viewers are introduced to a conversation between Carlos and Jay. We all love the bromance between Carlos and Jay throughout the Descendants franchise. Fans had already started speculating that the two were actually brothers. Among the villain parents from D1, Jafar was the only man, so it wouldn't have been a wonder if they spent a bit of alone time with Cruella and she gave birth to Carlos. Besides, we've never met the other VK's parents, apart from Mal, so we can't roll out the possibility that Carlos and Jay may have been blood brothers. Disney decided to delete a scene where Carlos was contemplating what to get Jane for her birthday, and as usual, Jay was there to help him out. The two were also talking about their plans after Aradon prep. As seen in all the Descendants movies, Jay loves adventure and Aradon was too small for his plans. We should probably get a sequel on the adventures of Jay soon. In the scene, Carlos makes Jay say that he would miss him the most after Aradon prep. I bet that part of the scene came true in real life, and it's not just Jay who misses you the most. We all miss you so much, Carlos. In the deleted scene, we also see more of the twins, Squeaky and Squirmy, and it's refreshing to see more of the twins. There's not much shown about them in The Descendants 3, and in the deleted scene, they were as playful with Carlos as they are meant to be. Seeing them more would have been a consolation for their dad, Smee. I know nobody believes that Smee deserved to be in the Isle of the Lost. If we could pick an adult to go to Aradon, it would definitely be Smee, right? Jane and Celia Celia was introduced as a young girl full of charisma and confidence. In the beginning, many fans believed that Celia would be the main villain in Descendants 3. Plus, the teaser made us think she was very evil with her wicked laugh and her cards. We felt that she was helping her father take over Aradon and break the barrier for good. Well, she did turn out to be evil, but not as bad as we had pictured it. However, we hoped that D3 would focus more on her because Celia had so much potential. If there's ever going to be another Descendants movie, there's no doubt that she will take the lead. Among the new VKs, she's also the one who seemed mature enough to handle any challenges in the future, and she never ran away when they were faced with danger. Of course, we never got to see more of her cheekiness because the franchise isn't focused on her at the moment. In one of the deleted scenes, however, she's sitting on a table with Jane, and she gets to read cards for her. Celia tells Jane that she's going to meet a tall, handsome stranger, and Jane says that she already met him. Jane's only worry was whether the handsome stranger would make it to her birthday party the next day. Who could be the tall, handsome stranger they were talking about? Well, we never got the chance to see that part even though it was featured several times in the teasers. I'm sure if Descendants had more time, Celia would read her cards for all the VKs and the other people in Aradon. It would have been nice to see her do more of the one thing she knows how to do best, read cards. How the VKs got to Aradon. The scene kicks off with Jay and Carlos playing together. Oh, more bromance that they had to delete. Mal and Evie approach them and Mal says that the only way back to Aradon is the bridge. Mal was hoping that their bikes were packed somewhere in a garage. Okay, first of all, it was insane saying that they didn't think of hiding their bikes even though they knew they were going to the Isle of the Lost where they could have been stolen or destroyed. I had no idea why they deleted that part because after watching the movie, fans were left wondering how they got back to Aradon. Okay, now we know. There was one problem, however. Celia had stolen the remote to open the barrier because she thought it would be useful to her. Why did they delete that part too? She confessed that she took the remote, apologized, and gave it back to Mal and her friends. Of course, she was making it hard for the VKs to teach her how to be good, but deep inside they knew that she was a fantastic person who deserved a place at Aradon Prep. Part of the deleted scene also includes a conversation between Celia and her dad, Dr. Facilier. Celia runs to her father, hugs him, and says that she would be away for the night. Villain parents don't have a reputation for being great parents, but Dr. Facilier was one of the few who had a great relationship with his daughter. None of the other villains ever even got close to receiving a loving hug from their evil parents. Fans thought that Dr. Facilier would be the main villain in D3, and he would force his daughter to rule by his side like what Maleficent did to Mao. Well, I'm sure Dr. Facilio was too occupied with trying to be a good dad to be a nuisance to the VKs. At the end of the scene, Dr. Facilio tells Celia to make sure she gets her cut. In the movie, he said that line, but it was in a different scene. Dizzy's happy mood. Okay, she's happy most of the time, but the production robbed us of more Dizzy moments. Everyone loves Dizzy, and we can all agree that she has a very bright future in Aradon. She was introduced as the only villain who started good and not bad or neutral. Out of all the other children in the Isle of the Lost, fans were sure that Dizzy would make it to Aradon prep. In fact, she's the only one in history to get two invites, one at the end of Descendants 2, and then she was chosen again in D3. Of course, she was very excited to be selected among the lucky four, but the production cut out one of the scenes in which Dizzy celebrated the invite. The young VK is finally in Aradon, and she wants to enjoy the fresh air and the beautiful scenery. In the scene, we see Dizzy dressed in a fancy dress and fancy shoes, something she never got to experience in the Isle of the Lost. Dizzy spins and swirls around with nothing but happiness written all over her face. She says that it's her favorite place in the world, and she never wants to live anywhere else. 
It is okay, Dizzy. You are going nowhere. That's your safe home now. That deleted scene doesn't change much in the movie, but we would have loved to see more Dizzy. She knows exactly how to lighten a dull mood. The Black Magic. Before we got to watch the Descendants movie in August, Disney had already released a couple of teasers. We must admit that they are very good at hiding the details. Even after all the teasers and trailers, viewers could only guess what would happen in Descendants 3. Well, some parts of the teasers never made it to the movie, including the black magic. In the teaser, there's a force which gradually turns everything purple than black. We all know that purple is Mal's signature color. Were they trying to tell us something else? That alone left viewers with a lot of questions. A voice in the teaser said that everyone would be forced to stay in their houses and they'd have to close the barrier forever. The black magic destroys everything, including Jane's birthday cake. However, in the movie, Jane's cake remains intact, and there was always enough to go around the table regardless of how many times they cut it. Hmm, I guess the production decided that the cast members deserved some cake after working so hard and decided not to let the black magic destroy the cake. It would have been exciting, though, to see how Aradon went from a beautiful land to a very dark place and a good place again in the end. Mal's Darkness in another teaser, viewers are introduced to a scene where they see Mal's darkness. Fans of Stranger Things swore that the scene was very similar to the Upside Down. After Ben holds Mal's hand, she is transported to a world where she faces a dark side. We are glad that Mal is one of the good guys, but viewers would have loved to see her dark side. And if there's one thing we learned in the Descendants franchise is that bad people can be good and good people can also be bad. Have you ever imagined what evil Mal is really capable of doing? I mean, the offspring of Maleficent and Hades? Capable of using Maleficent's scepter and Hades' ember? Wow, I bet she would have been a badass. Sadly, we never got to see her evil side apart from the fact that she lied to her friends. Kenny Ortega. In this deleted scene, viewers are introduced to the director sweeping the set and he stops and tells us, You didn't think this was the end of the story, did you? Well, he's not one of the characters in the Descendants franchise, but he's the brains behind the remarkable show. Of course, this scene would have never made it to our screens, but it definitely counts for something. Does that mean there's going to be another Descendants movie? Come on, Kenny. We know there's a lot more from where the other movies came from. If you can come up with another high school musical, we know you can also come up with another Descendants movie. But there's one request we have, though. Please don't take 10 years. Besides, the Disneyverse has more characters you haven't even mentioned in the previous movies. Of course, many will argue that the film will be a great injustice to Cameron Boyce, but we just can't get enough of the magic. In my opinion, I think Kenny was actually supposed to say the line at the end of the movie, but after the passing of Cameron Boyce, they decided not to include the part. It will never be the same without Carlos, and he's not someone they can just replace in another Descendants movie. Hey, that's all we have for now, but we'll be on the lookout for more deleted scenes. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell to stay up to date. This has been Riveted, and we publish new videos daily.